Hey friends, welcome. Today I'm gonna to do some weaving. My loom is all warped up and I'm going to be doing a little bit of rag weaving. Thanks for joining me. Here's our project. This is a table runner that I made a while back using strips of cloth and cotton crochet thread. To begin with, I'm going to take a shuttle and I'm going to put some cotton thread on my shuttle. And what I'm gonna do so that the salvages on my table runner are equal is I'm going to count to 10. I've already wrapped this around seven times. Eight, nine, 10. So that, when I'm going to use up all that thread on the beginning of my project, and then when I get to the end, I will, again, I'll put 10, the, the string on here, 10 times. I'll count to 10 as I wrap it around. So let's sit down and begin. First, I want to put my, I want to tighten up my threads on my loom. And I need to lock, let's see if you can see the locks. There's a lock here and there's a lock over there. I need to lock it so that it stays taut. I'm gonna start in the up position. And before I begin weaving, I'm going to put some cardboard markers at the beginning because these threads come together here. I want them to not be so tight together. The beginning of the project, we want the threads to be more evenly apart. So now I'm going to put it in the down position. Put another cardboard marker. Put it in the up position. Okay, let's start weaving. I'm going to start with the cotton thread for one end of my table runner and I'm going to bring the end. I'm sure there's different ways to deal with the end of your thread here, but I'm just going to pull it in right to there. I was in the up position. Now I'm in the down position. So the threads moved. I don't pull tight. I just make sure that I call it the fold is right here. The thread is kind of loosely draped across there at an angle and then I push down. Back up to the up position. Again, I don't want to pull too tight. And I'm going to work like that until I've used up all of that thread that I wound onto this shuttle. All right, I'm finishing up with my salvage here and I would like my string to end in the middle. I don't want to end at the edge, so I'm going to trim that right there. And one thing I like to use to tighten these threads is a comb like this. And I just push down on those threads and make sure that they're together. Now, 
I do have a video about how to make this rag yarn. I only sew strips of <laughs> fabric that will fit on one of these shuttles. I don't do the whole thing. I do section by section. So I filled up a shuttle and we're going to start weaving. It's kind of thick to start with when you have all that fabric on there. And I like to have the end of my fabric somewhere in, in the middle, not hanging off the end. And again, I don't want to pull too tight over here on the side. I leave a little, it's just a little loose, and this is loose across here, and then I push down tight. Okay, I've added all of my rag yarn and I put some cotton thread on here. I wound it around 10 times so that it would be the same length as the beginning of my table runner. And now I'm going to add it here at the end. I'm going to let that end float in the middle somewhere. That's where we're going to begin. And I will go back and forth in the up and down position until I have used up all of that cotton thread. And here we are done. We've added our salvage. And now's the fun part. When we take everything off the loom and we find out what we actually made. So I'm going to take my scissor and I want long threads. What we're going to do is we're gonna be real careful as we take it off, but when we're done, when you're done, you're going to tie those threads into knots at the end in groups of four to six, whatever suits you. So as I cut this off, I'm gonna be real careful here. And then we're gonna loosen up our tension over here and we're gonna pull this out and see what did we make. And there it is. Now what I like to do, which I don't have with me right now, is I take a little bamboo skewer and to help loosen these knots. And after I take all these knots off, I'll have loose threads like I have at the other end. And then I'll walk over to a table and I'll sit down and put knots in the each end of my table runner. Thank you for joining me today.